Okay, so I just finished beading this piece for my Hmong Chinese outfit and this is basically the piece that goes on the waist and and this part just dangles in the back and that bag right there that's where i have the piece for the hat the apron and the shirt overall i spent at least 40 hours doing this outfit here is the before and after of this outfit as you can see it looks like a completely new outfit i feel like the new beads that i put on makes this outfit look a lot brighter and just cleaner in general which was basically my goal so even though it took me so long to do this outfit it was just so worth it this is the cross stitch piece that i'm working on in Hmong it's called bandao it literally translates to flower cloth so in this bag right here i've already have um a arm piece and a shirt piece completed and this one that i'm currently working on is a arm piece so this will be my last arm piece that i have to uh, do and then after i complete everything i'm planning to put on some sequins or also known as gyoki and mong this is the fabric that i'm choosing to put my patterns on so it's just a white fabric with uh, silver foiled flowers super pretty i'll let you guys know how the end result looks like I basically just finished this uh, flower right here so what I'm doing is I am uh, threading through the holes of the Ida cloth and I am picking up a sequin and a seed bead and I am threading it uh, back down and then I'm coming back up again and then I am repeating the whole process throughout this um, entire piece. Whoa, it's snowing in Georgia right now. I got some snowflakes on myself. <laughs> I got lipstick on my teeth, but we're about to do like a little bit of a, um, ow, oh, stop hitting me. But uh, we're about to do like a little bit of a um, photo shoot. So I'll post it pictures later. this idea of choosing an outfit for your spouse um, but the catch is, is that you're bringing them along so that they can try on the clothes to see if it fits um, but they can't say anything about whether they approve or whether they don't approve so yeah this will be the outfit that we're gonna be wearing for a Valentine's Day dinner so today is actually like really cold so I have on like my beanie and then like my Sherpa and then my husband also has on like a puff jacket and his beanie and we're both representing Boston today.
to the next. As long as there's only one skew on the Henry, like I would take. These are the outfits that Philip picked out for me. So this right here is a scarf. And then we have a shirt underneath here. And then this looks like a like a cardigan. And then over here you just have like a khaki um, ankle pants. And then here you have like a bigger cardigan that's burgundy and then um this sweater light purple sweater and this gray ankle pants um these two are the two that i picked out for myself so i'm gonna be trying this on for him to see if he likes how it looks We're here at Levi Strauss, and this is the jacket I have for him, the shirt, and then three washes, or two washes of pants. So, we're gonna see how it turns out, yay! Open up your shirt. So this is the different wash of jean. Um, the other one had like a three button fly so he didn't really like that. We just got done shopping. I don't know if I told you guys but the first store that we went into was Ann Taylor for me. And then we went to um, the Levi jean store. So that's where I found his outfit for him. It was fairly fast that we found each other's outfits. But I'm here waiting on my husband because he is using the bathroom right now. So, yep, we got our clothes. Mm, good. ไม่ลงก้าวจะก่อจงก้าวลัวเอก่อนย่อขอติดตัวเอก่อปวดเต้าหมวดตูเอไม่ลงก้าวจะก่อนจีนลัวลัวเอก่อนโดนแรงติด